once a patient is there in shock important part of management is monitoring uh, so very routine monitoring like pulse oximeter blood pressure monitoring can be done uh, non invasively but if you go to the advanced level invasive monitoring can include arterial lines cvp line pulmonary artery catheters you have no pulse contour analysis uh, static and dynamic measures like uh, stroke volume variations pulse pressure variations uh, there is no end to it okay. you can have blood gas analysis shock indices of uh, 0.9 this is one thing that can is practiced in some icu they are hearted by systolic blood pressure ratio of more than 0.9 is taken as a depending uh, indication of uh, shock okay. lactate if it stays high doesn't come down with management that is a poor prognostic marker okay, as is intraitral co2 it gives a response to the suspecting so they themselves are not bad but if the trending is still worsening with all the management that we give a poor out so <clears throat> if we talk a bit more about the monitoring part in hemodynamic instability uh they have been techniques like pulmonary artery catheter and cvp line but they have started going down because you know uh, I, i just don't go into this deal but i would give you a, a more broader outlook is when you give fluid okay, you what you would love is that in someone to is you in advance that when i give this fluid it's going to have a desired response that the cardiac output is increasing this is what we call as fluid responsive CVPs, pulmonary artery catheters will just tell you that whether this body is able to take fluid or not. Okay, so uh, ये बता देगा कि CVP ज़्यादा है तो body is fluid for fail don't give more. ये बता देगा CVP is less you can give fluids. But who will tell you that if I give this fluid this will actually help in increasing the cardiac output and improving the tissue perfusion. That is what card critical care has moved now from just whether fluid can be given or not to Whether fluid will increase the fluid output, fluid uh, cardiac output or so one aspect as you said is fluid responsiveness and tolerance. You don't want that fluid to cause the patient to worsen. So as you said, PPV pulse pressure variations, sorry, various stroke volume variations uh, are some of the pulse contour analysis, passive leg raising tests, and as we discussed in the previous slide, rush protocol, point of care ultrasound. do helping give you an idea that yes if i give fluid it will help then you have to measure the cardiac output whether it improves on when you give fluid or when you give a vasopressor it should improve so this waveform analysis in the form of thermal dilution similar to somewhat to pulmonary artery catheter thoracic thoracic uh, electrical by impedance which is non invasive and doppler aortic uh, trans esophageal echocardiography will help you in seeing whether the cardiac output is but then there is a third and that is the most important you know this is saying that you will take the horse to the water but who will make it drink whether it drinks or not is not dependent upon you you have taken you have placed water you have brought the horse so we have placed water here the horse has been brought together to the water but will the tissue use that oxygen will the horse drink is important because unless that happens the whole exercise is just flu is futile so tissue oxygenation assessment microcirculatory blood flow assessment and capillary refill along the lactate give you an idea of whether the tissue are actually using that oxygen or are they being perfused well or not.